Hey, we're talking about the wonderful Cesar Milan. He joins us live from New York with his son, Andre, to talk about the latest project. Good morning, gentlemen. Good, Good morning, morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. All right, let's get down to business. Road trip across America in search of dogs and their humans. Okay, who has more complaints, the dogs <laughs> or the humans? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> <laughs> He's got the most complaints. Me right off the bat. <laughs> what is it like, uh, Andre? No uh, complaints for the bed? dogs. <laughs> well, what's that? Uh, what's, what's it like? It like? Yeah. I mean, it's 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 fun. Uh, this guy's he's hilarious. Uh, you know, he does have a fun side to him. It's not always a work. He's a workaholic as well, so it's not always about work. So, and you know, I I tell him, you know, it's time. You know, you're right. There is time to work and there is time to play as well. But you know, you have to have fun when you do things as well, because then you're gonna miss the the greatness about life. Yeah. And then in return, he teaches me everything I need to know about instincts, everything I need to know about animals, humans, uh, why things work happen. Work ethic. Work ethic. Yeah. Uh, have, keeping your traditions. You know. Stay focused. Stay focused. Stay disciplined. Grounded. And and always remember, family first. Yeah. There wow! So this is so much more than just dog training. This is a, a great, oh yeah, a great opportunity to build those bonds of family. So my question to you is: are, are people still able to get involved? Because we're looking at video right now of people who I imagine have reached out to you desperately in need of help, who are just at oh, a yeah. wit's end, and maybe even feeling like you know they they just don't know what to do with their dog. Well, let's remind people that it's not the dog, right? So a lot of times when people put the uh, the focus or or, or or blame the dog for the behavior, they already started the wrong way. Because yeah. what happens there is people become very frustrated, very angry, and they're very confused. That's why I'm always saying calm energy is very important. Mm -hmm. And you really have to learn to assess and evaluate the situation. A dog doesn't want to give you problems. A dog is developing problems because their needs are not met. Yes. So we have to take responsibility. This is what I'm teaching, you know, I teach my kids is we have to take responsibility of our own actions, especially when we're working with animals because they don't run Rationalize. Mm -hmm. So in our home, they're not allowed to blame a dog for a bad behavior. Mm -hmm. Yes. So always be aware. I mean, that's yeah. the biggest key to be aware of what, how you feel inside your emotions. Because you know, coming into a situation that might not be the ideal situation to most people, and you know, the cases that he deals with uh, on and off the show, um, you know, you just have to be aware of, of how you feel because mm -hmm. it, it affects the 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 solution, the you know, the it, end result. It affects, yeah, it affects the communication. And you know, as well, it. it you give miscommunication to the people around you on how to do around. things. Yeah. So if you're aware and you understand how to do things the right way the first time, you know, there's no need to do it the second time. And uh, Cesar, I know you're also um, sharing wisdom from your latest book, Lessons from the Pack, Stories of the Dogs Who've Changed My Life. Mm. Now, in addition to that, I know you guys are on the road. Have you already chosen the cities you're going to? Uh, or can cities, can people request you to come through? What, how does this work, this road trip? We, we already shot the show. Okay. Uh, okay. Definitely, we're coming back in October to do the, the uh, second season. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure she, see, people are going to enjoy the show. It has a lot of inspirational stories. That is dog heroes. That is human heroes. You guys are going to tear a little bit on that. Yeah. On those. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We come and visit the fans. So people can still have that part of the educational aspect. So what important. do I do with my dog? But in reality, is what did the dog do with the human? Mm -hmm. <laughs> And yeah. of course, we do. We also do like live shows where people get to see in real time transformation. Yeah, and, and also, I yeah. mean, there's a lot of states in this country as well. So just because we've already had a set uh, destination, what we've already done before, there's still so many places to go in this nation, this beautiful country that we call United States of America. And you know, with that, there's so many opportunities to yeah. reach out to other people and so many things to do that have haven't been done yet. So we still have a lot more to go and to reach. Keep sending videos, right. people. Just come yeah, on. We got we, we'll As we let you guys them. go, I got to make a plea for Sacramento. So if you. Guys, yes. do us in October. Come to Sacramento because we have a very <laughs> unique right. situation here with people and their pets. We need you. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Andre. Yeah, Thanks, we, We've been to San Francisco. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Sacramento. Thank you. I know. Oh, yeah. Sacramento. Right. It's close. Yeah, it's, it's close. A close neighbor. Close neighbor. We will tell you that uh, Caesar Milan's Dog Nation premieres on uh, Natural Geographic's mm -hmm. Wild. Friday, March 3rd. Incredible guy. Yeah. So talented. And I see he's already uh, kind of imparting that wisdom onto oh, yes. his son, so that's very important.